Good morning, everyone. It's Harlow of Harlow Heslop's Virtual Adventures, and um, I was in the mood to do a photo this morning and show off a few items, so I figured I would um, do a little video of me taking my photo and then also editing my photo. I know a lot of people like uh, creation photos and then photo editing photos, so um, I thought that would be fun this morning. So I apologize, I just woke up, so I feel like my voice is a little hoarse, um, <clears throat> but we will go ahead and get started here. Um, I am using Vanity Poses by Vanity Mirror. Uh, Vanity is one of my very best friends, and uh, her poses are really wonderful, so if you're looking for poses in Second Life, definitely check them out. Um, and then for this photo, I am wearing the Rain Fluffy Burks, um, which are absolutely adorable. The Ruli Ripper Jeans, which are <clears throat> my new favorite jeans. I am a big fan of them. The Yummy Fall Rings that she made, which the little details are awesome. Um, and then here is the other hand had my wedding ring on on the other hand as well so I want to show you the rings just by themselves um, identity I am wearing one of her beautiful lipsticks uh, the lipstick I'm wearing I will credit I cannot remember the name of this specific one because I own pretty much every single one yummy accessory butterfly ears and then Tetra's beautiful cable sweater here or knit sweater um, I bought the fat pack in this because I just thought it was pretty wonderful so uh, the hair is from Tetra, so, uh, or not Tetra, I'm so sorry, that's the sweater. The hair is from Dew, it's the Tegan hair from Dew, um, it's the brand new release that just came out. <laughs> Obviously I need more coffee this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set my photo up here. First thing I do is I like to zoom in and uh, focus in on my avatar. So um, I'm gonna do control zero and hit that as many times as I want to zoom in. And I wanna do a pretty close photo this time. So I'm gonna zoom in like that. And I'm noticing I'm having a little bit of alpha issues in the background. That's something I can probably correct in Photoshop, um, but I know it's a little bit frustrating. But uh, we'll do there and then well no let's go over here it's also will depend on what wind line I'm gonna use to with the alpha sometimes that changes so we'll mess with that in a little bit I also like to use my access hood by Leilutka um, to mess with my face and focus my eyes I know you can do this in the actual Leilutka Evo HUD um, but I like this access HUD. Um, I feel like I can do a lot with the eyes and the mouth. You can do a little bit of a smile if you'd like. Mess with that. Make me look a little less resting bitch face this morning. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to make it a little more subtle though. I think that's pretty cute. You can narrow the eyes a little bit too, which is really fun. That's pretty cute. I like to try and adjust my angle so it looks like I'm looking directly at the camera. And right about there. Um, and then I am gonna start messing with my wind lights. So I'm gonna go up to Dragon, World, Environment Editor, Sky, Edit Preset. And I actually do not have a bunch of Black Dragon wind light or wind lights loaded onto Black Dragon right now, so I actually need to do that pretty soon because I really don't have a whole lot to work with right now. So, uh, oh, I kind of like that. Um, let's see, I really like the foggy look. So I'm just gonna start kind of messing with. Ooh, I really like that actually. Uh, messing with your sun and moon position and your angle. on let's see here it's really not bad you can also mess with the atmosphere sliders which will help with um, like 
if I want to make it really foggy in the background. I feel like the last couple pictures I did had a lot of really deep, rich autumn colors, and I kind of want to make this one slightly more muted in the background, so. It's kind of pretty. It's nice because you can adjust all this stuff and really create your own unique and individual wind light by messing with the preset wind lights. Oops. Mess that up a little bit. I really like that. Um, I know there's a little bit of weird shadows on my face. That's something I may be able to adjust in Photoshop, but I love the way that the shadows are playing right here. Um, so I'm going to open my Makinima um, sidebar again still don't know how to pronounce that word so if I'm pronouncing it wrong someone correct me please um, <clears throat> but here you can really mess with your shadows your depth of field so I start really messing with this to see if I want my shadows I think I want them to be a little bit soft do about there shadow distance that'll help with like the shadows on your hair now there's a little bit of weird shadows. Um, I'd say that's probably pretty good. It's a little weird right here, but it's probably not going to be perfect. I also don't want to keep you guys for 8 million years on here today. So um, your depth of field, my depth of field is actually set almost perfect, but I'm going to show the sliders here just to show you what you can do with these. You can really change this up. I'm really going to honestly change a lot of the depth of field in Photoshop. The problem is when you take a photo at a really high resolution, which you want to do because you want the quality um, and uh, the sharpness in the image, um, it will not be as deep of a depth of field and, and not as blurry in the background, unfortunately, once it's out of Black Dragon. Always find that to be a bit of a bummer. Um, but luckily we have the magic of Photoshop that we can mess with. So um, I'm gonna say right about there. And I feel like my eyes just aren't quite right. So I'm gonna plug in. Kinda like an up just slightly, so. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna adjust my avatar so that it looks like I'm looking up at her. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more as well here. It's definitely not perfect, but gives you kind of an idea of what you can do with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my shot here. It's pretty cute. I like that I didn't crop off my head, but um, it's right there along the top of my, my skull. So I'm gonna say save to disc, and then this is gonna pop up for my width and height. Uh, I'm gonna do the biggest size possible, so I just put a bunch of numbers in there until it comes up. It's 6144 by 3305. See, as you can see, the blur kind of goes away a little bit, but you're gonna get a lot more details as well because um, you're doing it at a higher resolution. So I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna save this as fall portrait. All right, um, we can go on to our editing. All right, guys, we are moving into our editing portion of this video today. And as you can see, I have pulled my photo into Photoshop. Uh, the first thing I always like to do is crop my image. I have been in the mood lately to take um, photos where I have completely centered my avatar. I know I mentioned this in another video, and I know it totally goes against the rule of thirds, which is a big deal in photography. I was a photography major in college. And, um, you know, people say, oh, you should do the rule of thirds, so put your, your image here. But I, I don't know, lately I'm just in the mood to center my avatar. So 
that is what we're going to do today. Um, I really don't have a whole lot to crop in this image, actually. I, I took a really good shot. Um, and uh, I may bring this up just slightly. No, nope, I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. I think I'm just going to leave it completely how it is because I like the little details in the background. Um, the place I took the picture today is a new area that we are opening soon at Burrow. So um, if you are a Burrow dweller or interested in new places in Second Life, definitely check it out. Um, these little spots are bothering me, so I'm going to attempt to remove them. So I'm going to use the clone stamp tool, make this a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm just going to make this a little bit softer with the opacity as well. And I hit um, control and click and then, oh wait, not control, alt, I apologize. Alt and then I click and that kind of copies over anything that's nearby. Um, and then I just kind of paint um, my hair here. And it's definitely never perfect, but it's one of those things that I feel like no one really notices. Now, you're probably going to notice it now that you're seeing me do it, but um, it uh, definitely is something people tend to not notice much unless they are uh, watching me edit the photo and can see me messing with it. So, again, you just hit the clone stamp here and then alt click where you want and then you can copy it over and i just realized that i forgot to make a new layer before i started editing this so um i did this without uh a new layer which was not smart of me so i'm going to duplicate now because you always want to be able to have a layer you can go back on this looks a little funny right here still so i'm gonna just it's so subtle but just doesn't look quite right there that's a little bit better definitely not perfect but um it will do so and then i can notice right here uh my hair is clipping into my sweater a little bit these are all very subtle things but people notice them so it's good to fix them if you're able to so i'm gonna just soften that up a little bit Small and subtle little changes, but they make a big difference in the final image. So, um, I look around for other little things that may need corrected before I start messing with the rest of the photo. So I'll zoom in and kind of pan around here and look. Um, I feel like right here is a little bit rough, so I may actually draw in some hair or. Um, when I do the depth of field trick that Aria taught me in a little bit, I may just try to make that look a little more subtle than it is. It's kind of a harsh line. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this actually. There's really not a lot of things I need to fix. It really helps when you're wearing really high quality, beautiful items too, because they have details and um, I feel like Do, Yummy, Tetra, they all do just this fantastic job of attention to detail um, and identity as well. Look at the detail in these lips. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So um, I sometimes like to sharpen myself a little bit. So I'm gonna make a new layer. And then I am gonna go to my, right here, sharpen tool. I know some people use like a sharpen layer. Um, I just use the sharpen tool, it gets the job done. So, and then um, I don't really want it at 100%, do about 60-ish. And I just click and sharpen areas that I feel need a little bit of sharpening. I love my freckles. It's one of my favorite things about my avatar. So I always like to make those stand out a little bit more. <laughs> make my eyes pop a bit. And then if you look at the before and after, it's very, very subtle but it does make a little bit of a difference. Um, sometimes your hairline is a good spot to sharpen a little bit. Um, these beautiful yummy rings, I definitely 
I'm going to sharpen those just, just slightly. I mean, it's so subtle, you can barely tell, but it does make a difference in your final image. So, do that. I'm pretty happy with this so far. So we're going to do another layer. Um, I'm not using the hotkeys because I want to be able to show you where this stuff is on the actual um, interface. So I always do layer, duplicate layer. So we are going to do a Gaussian blur here. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're just going to blur out things a little bit in the background. I was really paying attention to right here because that area is just kind of rough. Which I can always go back and fix that, but I'd say right about there is good. Then we are going to do a mask. Make sure you're clicked on it. <clears throat> And then we are going to paint away the blur on my avatar. Make sure you're using a soft brush. Again, this trick was one that Aria Christian taught me. Aria Spirter. I always say that. It's now Aria Spirter. But many of you know her as Aria Christian. And the nice thing is, if you mess up and you go out of the lines, uh, you can go back paint the blur back in, which is really great, which I, before when I was doing my way of doing it, um, I could not really undo very easily. So this makes it so much easier to get the same effect. And then I kind of do this just to see where I still need. So as you can see, it's really not hard to do a really high quality image in Black Dragon relatively quickly. I think it took me about four or five minutes to actually take the image. Um, and editing is not taking me too long as well. And um, it's simple. There's nothing overly special about it, but it showcases, if you're a blogger, it really showcases the items really well. And let's see if I've missed any spots. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm really bothered still by, oops, by this up here. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in and see if I can Let's flip this around here. I'm just going to kind of soften that a little bit there because it's bothering me. don't like the way that that uh, light is so harsh against my hair there. I feel a little bit better about that. It's definitely not perfect, but it's a little less subtle now. Um, you can't see that harsh line. So um, I see a couple other little spots that need blur put back in, like right in here. Um, I'm going to zoom in on my hand here and make sure that I go back to this. Make sure that I have done a good job of showing off these beautiful rings. So yeah, pretty happy with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and merge my layers because I know that I'm happy with what I've done. See, very subtle changes. Um, I really didn't do a whole lot of stuff to it. so. Again, I really like working with Photoshop Actions to kind of add a little vintage vibe to my images. So I'm gonna just kind of mess with the settings here. I love this. This just gives us like a very like fall feel. Um, I like to make it a little more subtle though. So mess with my layers here. Kind of like that, a little lower. Sure to just turn that off completely. Keep that. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks really pretty. You can see the before and after. Just kind of softens everything, gives it a little bit of a old school vibe. Layers. Again, I bought those. Um, I spent 
own chunk of money on them and it was a worthy purchase i will make sure to link those in the comments for you guys so that if you would like to purchase the filters as well you can so yeah i am pretty happy with the this image there is your before and there is your after i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i save it and then um, go ahead and upload it so i appreciate you guys um, tuning in today for my video and i look forward to bringing you new content soon i will make sure to post all the credits and comments and on my Flickr image when i'm done hope you guys all have a wonderful day